hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well now guys today i want to show you how to make a lentil soup and this soup is so nutritious it has a lot of nutrients a lot of good stuff so guys watch this video to the end so that you can see how i make it but to start with i'm going to show you the ingredients that i'm going to be using and they're all vegetables so what you're going to be using is some onion some tomato i'm also going to use one zucchini and i'm also going to be using a half of a green pepper you can also just use any other color of pepper that you like and then i'm going to be using one medium-sized carrot and i'm also going to be using some garlic and for the lentils i'm only going to use a half cup of lentil so guys let us start preparing these ingredients and what i'm going to start with is chopping up the zucchini i'm going to use just one medium-sized zucchini so here we go guys now this soup is very good let me talk a bit about the soup now when it comes to, when it comes to the lentils you can just use any lentil that you like but for me i'm using the brown lentil so what happens is that this soup uh, is loaded with a lot of nutrients lentils are very very high in protein they're also rich in fiber and a lot of iron so lentils are such a good thing to add in your diet now they also help to lower cholesterol they are a good source of protein as i said and they also improve digestion they help to burn fat and this aids in a lot of weight loss that's why we use lentils for weight loss especially for weight watchers this is a very good soup for you and they also help to increase energy so when you take this soup you're not going to be feeling low energy as it actually makes you have a lot of energy it also helps to keep you full for long and this helps to reduce the cravings and to reduce overeating and they also help to improve your heart health so this is a wholesome soup guys it's very nutritious so this is good for anyone even though you're not trying to lose weight then this soup is also just going to help you a lot so anyway guys back to my ingredients now i'm gonna be also using a half a capsicum like i said and all i'm doing is just chopping all these ingredients up and just preparing them and keeping them ready for cooking then i'm also going to use one tomato but what i'm going to do with the tomato is i'm gonna blend it up just to make a sauce and this will help to thicken our soup so that is not just a plain watery soup all i'm going to do is just blend it and then use it as a, a nice puree so guys this is it okay, let's prepare all the ingredients and then and then we get to cooking the soup so guys what you're gonna need to do is just replace this soup with your dinner or your lunch whichever you like so you can't take anything else but just the soup just one serving of the soup is what you're gonna be taking this is not one serving this makes even two to three servings so just take half of this soup for one serving
so guys i'm done chopping up all my ingredients and everything is ready so into a pan start with your onion i'm using green onion start with the onion and add about one tablespoon of olive oil and then let it cook for a few minutes and then begin to add the other ingredients so cook the onion for a few minutes to get the a nice aroma and then add about three garlic cloves you can either crush them or chop them up and then just add them in your pan stir for a few minutes and then go ahead and add the capsicum Now this also it has a very nice aroma when you cook it directly this way. So just cook it for a few seconds and then go ahead and then add your other ingredient which is going to be carrots. Now you want your carrots to cook a little bit but it all depends with how you like your veggies cooked. So I just let my carrot cook for a few minutes and then and then I went ahead and added my other ingredients. Then I'm going to add the zucchini. The zucchini is quite soft, so it doesn't take long to cook. And then I added my tomato puree. And this really helps to, you know, thicken the, the soup and make it even more attractive and looking more delicious. That's why I prefer pureeing my tomatoes. So guys, just put your tomato, mix it up a little bit, and then start adding your spices. Now I'm going to start with my salt and I'm adding the pink salt. This salt is good because it prevents water retention. So if you have a good quality salt, then just use that. But if you don't, just use the ordinary table salt. I added about a half teaspoon of the pink salt. Then I'm adding a little bit of ground black pepper about a, a quarter a teaspoon and then i'm adding some oregano so when it comes to spices just add whatever spices you like with your vegetables the, but all these spices were good with this soup so i just added a dash of oregano mix it up very well and then i covered it for a few minutes so that it can cook a bit and so that also the spices can be absorbed nicely in the veggies uh, and that way they taste even better And then I added my half cup of lentils, mix it up to make sure that everything mixes up well and the spices are being absorbed in the veggies. Mix it up for a few minutes, let it cook sort of a bit and then we start adding our water. So for the water I'm adding one cup and a half of water yeah and because this it takes about 10 minutes to cook this soup so it won't take long the soup is not going to evaporate that much so one and a half cups is enough for this soup so cover it and then give it time to boil and then 10 minutes or so your soup is gonna be ready guys you can see it's boiling and it's nice and thick and it's nice and has cooked well so at this point then your soup is ready you can just take it out and serve so guys replace this soup with your lunch or your dinner so make sure you don't eat anything else this is what you eat for either whether it's for your lunch or for your dinner but also just make sure that you're eating healthy for the rest of the day so guys as you can see the, the soup looks delicious and it tastes delicious now you can also blend this soup up if you want to blend it up you can just blend it up it's even easier to digest that way i've also done a lentil soup where i've blended it up and so this time i didn't want to blend it up guys this soup works wonders it's going to help you lose weight so just give it a try and you're gonna be feeling good and amazing and if you give it a try then talk to me in the comment section and let me know how this goes for you if you haven't subscribed to this channel hit the subscribe button and i'll be glad to have you join this amazing family thank you for watching guys Bye-bye.